تا خودتون این درها نکرد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وان سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وعلى اصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى ذريه سيدنا محمد وعلى ازواج سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون اما بعد all praises and thanks are due to almighty allah we show our gratitude to him may the peace and the blessing of almighty allah upon the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his family and his companions to the of judgment My brothers and sisters in Islam Allah always remind me and you in every single Friday saying O oh, you who believe fear Allah we are for you be conscious of your Lord then all my till says for that and do not return to me except you die in state of islam today's khutbah as we are approaching the month of ramadan the month of blessing we need to remind us something that we have to do as our duty if we put it in our mind Alhamdulillah but if not from this khutbah we will be able to do that we never know we never know which ramadan that we do before almighty allah when we draw our soul and we ask almighty allah to give us many many of ramadan in this life Inshallah today's khutbah is about the one of the same hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a man approached prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying to to him you call yourself the message of almighty allah as people used to claim prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam yes and the man say if in that case tell me the action that i can easily do the action that i can easily do that all may he allow please with me i want all may he allow to please to please with me the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say call al iman billah that's first thing prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say to this man afid in your lord 
know that Almighty Allah is there at any time. When you run to the problem, don't run to no one except Almighty Allah. When you are in difficulty, no one can save you beside Almighty Allah. Put it in your mind. Know that Almighty Allah is the everlasting one. Then serve Him. That's part of Iman. Then the man say again, Thumma ma. Ya Rasulullah, the message of Allah, tell me, when I discharge this, what next? Then for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, remind him, see. Thumma qal, sillatu rahim, sillatu rahim, sillatu rahim. Try to connect. Be kind to your blood relation. Your blood relation is very, very important. Most especially in our deen, in this religion. This is the word of Prophet that he mentioned after believing in Almighty Allah. Imagine. This is the second thing that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned to this man. Sallatu Rahim. Why Islam really value anything that we can call soul? Soul, when it is coming to soul, Islam really value it. Why? Because all means Allah who created that soul value it. Before we go to that, another incident happened. A man said to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this wealthy man, during the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Ya Rasulullah, you know that Allah blessed me, but I want to help my parents with sodako. I want to help them with sodako. So therefore, what I'm going to do at this, at this time, I'm going to sacrifice 100 camel. Imagine. Because he was blessed for my parents. 100 camel. I'm going to sacrifice that for my parents. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, don't do that. Don't do that. Allahu Akbar. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, instead, free a slave. Free a slave man. Try by all means, instead of that money, to spend that money, then take it to go and look for one in, in bandage. Feed him. Look at the value of soul. Look at that. This is advice of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to this man to let us know that how about the value in Islam. Now, let me ask myself and let everyone ask himself. We have our cousin. We have our aunts. We have our uncle. How many times in a year that we call them, we shake them, we know about their condition, how many, 
How many times that we knew we, we did this? Yes, we may say, because I don't have much in my hand. But believe me, not everything is money. Not everything is money. By communicating with them, Wallah, Azim, to make them happy. Almighty Allah may please with you with that. Instead of money. This is Islam. Islam value. The blood relation, like I mentioned previously. Look at the good example in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family. Quraysh went to the elder in Bani Hashim. Bani Hashim was the where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought the relation come from. He said to this tribe, listen, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was so threatening us, intimidates us about this religion that he brought. So how are we going to get rid of it? So they went hand by hand with the Bani Hashim. We are from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But this tribe said, no, 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 no. Yes, we are majority. Not to worship Almighty Allah with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But without that, we will still stay with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because this is our blood relationship. We will never, never leave him alone. And they started to treat each every one of them. They say, listen, all of you, you have to leave this country for us. Mean Mecca. You say, yes. We accepted that. And they move on into a mountain. They don't have anything to eat. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and some of Bani Hashim, they ran around the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's bad that they did not worship Almighty Allah that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was worshipping. But in time of blood relationship, they stood by him. They ran around. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imagine that. They don't have anything to me except leaves. Not for months. For years. Not one year. Not two years. Three years and some months. Imagine. Three years and some months. Because of this. Because of this, my brother and sister in Islam. That's why Prophet Muhammad said, I will never in my life forget my uncle. As we all know. That's the reason why. My brother and sister in Islam. But today. When one of our. Family. Admitted in a hospital. Do we ever go and check him or. We are so busy. No, we have to sacrifice our time for them. It's part of our duty in Islam. Allah is going to ask. Allah is going to ask. 
Wherever Almighty Allah bless us, we need to share from that blessing, to extend that blessing to them. Another person went to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Ya Rasulullah, my dad has already passed away. What we need to do after them and my mom because I want to do something for them as Soda Kod Jahya. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say the first thing that you have to do that look at the what they are doing when they are alive. Continue to do that. For instance, maybe you identify that your mom or your dad usually donate and Allah bless you to the masjid, to the hospital, to help do the same thing. With that intention, Almighty Allah will bless you. And now Almighty Allah will extend that blessing to them because they started it. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continue to do that. Not only that, Wasillatu Rahim. Prophet repeated. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Joint kinship is very important. Then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, look at the friend of your mom, of your dad. Be kind to them. Be kind to them. Look at that. This is Islam. My brother and sister in Islam. This is what all we need to learn it from me and you. In fact, look at the time of Aisha, radiallahu anha, the wife of Prophet Muhammad the wife of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam heard about two persons. One of them was asking that. Let me ask. Who loved his family most? Then, before the another person answer. Then Aisha intervened. Radiallahu anh. She said, Musa alayhi salam. Why? Because this prophet Musa would draw his brother into the Nabi. He draw his brother because of the love into the Nabi. قال رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري وحلل عقدة من لساني يفتح قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من حال هارون اخي او الله i need a minister who can help me وزيرا but I don't want from nowhere. Min Hali from my blood relations. In fact, Harun Ahi. Harun, my brother, that I want. Look at the love. Look at what Islam is teaching me and you. My brother and sister in Islam. Harun Akhi. This is the Quran al Azim to show us. To show us our kindness to our relationship. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, You don't need to worry yourself. You want all the way to Allah to give you long life. Which I believe that me and you needed. 
Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Don't worry yourself. This hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you you want your span to be increased, be kind, spend, spend to the one that you know and you don't know. Allah will not leave you alone." Not only that, you want protection from all men, inshallah. This is the word of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You want all men, inshallah, to protect you? Spend to the cause of all men, inshallah. Spend to the cause of all men, inshallah. And you want your risk, sustenance, to be more increased. Spend to the cost of all my Allah. This is the word of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, my brother and sister in Islam. And how are we going to know that? All my Allah says in Al Quran Al Abim. All my Allah says, Wa Abdullah. ولا تشركوا بي شيئا وبالوالدين إسادا وبذي القربى واليتامى والمساكين والجار ذي القربى والجار الجنب والصحب بالجنب وابن السبيل وما ملكت ايمانكم ان الله لا يؤيب من كان مقتالا فخورا I just need all me tell us first of all وعبدالله صاف يا Lord like what Muhammad said mention in prophet's word Put your all major line into consideration. Wa abdullah. Wa la tushriku bi shayya. Not to associate anything with your Lord. So mean you peer between you and Allah. Then be kind to your parents. Be nice to your parents. So after parents, what all men tell us say? Wabizi lukuri ba. Your blood relation. In third place, Ramadan is a push. Consider those who are under you. Force from your family. Look to the right, look into the left. Either they don't want to see you, or they want to see you, they be friend with you. Don't mind. Do that for Allah. Do that for Allah. You didn't do for them. You are doing for the sake of all maintenance. You want all maintenance to reward you. All maintenance will reward you certainly. Consider them, help them out, out of poverty. No matter what Almighty Allah has blessed you with, try to give them some. In this Ramadan, then when you have enough, then outside, share, share, try from what Almighty Allah has given to you. And wallah, only Allah will always reward you for that. Allah will please you with that. May Almighty Allah make us as one of generous that will be able to spend, most especially during this time of Ramadan. May Almighty Allah bless each and every one. Rabbana zalamna anfusina wa illam takfiri lana wa tahamna lana kunanna mna khasirin.
Alhamdulillah 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 Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa sallam Tasliman kathir Inna Allah Wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-nabi Ya ayu al-ladhin amanu Sallu alayhi wa sallimu Tasliman Rabbana zalamna anfusina Wa illam takfur lana وترحمنا لنكون من الخاسرين ربنا عليك توكلنا وإليك أنا بنا وإليك المسير ربنا عتينا في الدنيا عصنا وفي الآخرة عصنا وكنا عذاب النار إباد الله إن لا يأمر بالعدل والحسن وإتاء ذي القربة وينعى أن الفحشاء والمنكر البجي يأذكم لعلكم تذكرون وأكيموا الصلاة